Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make an intro and outro for your YouTube channel and I will leave part one in the description box down below and I will also leave a playlist of all my editing tutorials so you can check that out and I wanted to say a big thank you to everybody who's been buying my customized intro and outros and I will leave my business email in the description box and all this money is going to go towards my EP which is coming soon so I'm super excited so make sure to subscribe like this video and make sure to follow me on all the social media to not miss out on anything and let's get started <laughs> So this is my timeline and I'm going to show you what I've been working on. So I just imported everything that I'm going to use, all the clips and photos that I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything and start from scratch. So what I'm going to start off with is this clip that I found on the internet and it's royalty free. So if you want to use it, here it is. So what I did with this clip, because it's really short, I just put two next to each other and this one, I'm just going to reverse it. So then the transition is smooth, like this. I'm going to go in here, take the range selection, and I'm just going to select a tiny bit here, and then I'm going to go over here and put it faster. like this. So now that I have the beginning, I'm going to put my music because I like to edit with the beat and with the music. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is drag this video on top and I will leave the link down below of this video and this guy, his name is John Tube, and he has really cool things for free that you can download. So yeah, so basically everything is on the green screen so you can use it. So I'm going to take the last part, which is an overlay. And this is what the overlay looks like. So because we want to put it on top and we still want to see what's underneath, we're going to click on it and go here and change the blend mode. I think the one that works the best is add. So here it is, you can still see the clip underneath, but because it's too harsh, we're going to change the opacity and then we're going to go to window and we're going to go to the color board. You can also change all the colors you see. So maybe something like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the clips and I'm going to double click and new compound clip. So this is going to make this only one clip. So then we have one clip. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a transition in the beginning. This one is my favorite transition and it's the trends zoom, but I know that you can find this for free on YouTube. You just have to watch some tutorials and I'm pretty sure you can find this for free. All of my plugins are from Pixel Film Studio. I will leave the website down below so you can buy them if you want. For this one, I'm going to go with the zoom in and I'm going to drag it on top and change the duration to about one. So then I'm going to go to my titles and here are all my plugins. So the one that I usually use is the Pro Hipster and the Pro Urban. These are intros that are already pre-made and then you can just change the colors and change the fonts and change everything that you want. But because you might not have this, I found still this um, guy on YouTube that makes those transitions with a green screen and you can just download the YouTube video and, and just get it for yourself. So I will leave his channel down below. So um, the one that I wanted to show you and the one that I like is this one. So he made something really similar. So I'm going to drag the video on top. This is the video from YouTube that I took from him. 
And here it has all the green screen. And I really, really like um, this one, for example. So we're gonna start at the beginning where it's green screen and then the intro comes and then it ends here. So we're going to cut that and we're going to put that on top. So because this is longer than the clip that I have underneath, I'm going to take the range selection and make it a bit faster. So this should work. So now our clip is on top of it. So because it's a green screen, what you want to do is go into the effects and here on all, you're going to type key and you're going to use this one, the keyer. So you're going to drag this on top and that's it. The green screen disappears and we have our clip on top of the other clip. Now what we want to do is put our name in the middle. So the one that I usually use is the 3D title. So you're going to go to the 3D and the one that I really like is the Tumble 3D. So I'm going to drag this on top and make it the same size as the clip. And here we're going to place it wherever we want it to go. So here we have to place it maybe on top of the arrow. And then we're going to go over here and make it a bit smaller so it fits perfect. And now I'm just going to put my name here. And here you can change some things. You can make it glow, drop shadow, you can change the effect and you can change the color. Here you can change the depth, make it more 3D and the weight I really like this one. So you can just play around and see what is best for you. So I'm really happy like this. And I'm going to go back to the title. And here, instead of tumble zoom down, I'm going to put tumble zoom up, I believe. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to add another clip and a transition. So for the other clip, I wanted to put one of my photos. So as you see, the photo doesn't fit the screen. So I'm going to click here and just adjust it so it fits the screen. We're going to add another transition. And for this one, I'm going to go with the zoom in and zoom out. So now what we want to do is tell people to subscribe and maybe give our social media links. So now I'm going to use this green screen with a bunch of subscribe and thumbs up and all the social media links. So I'm going to drop this and we're going to go back to effect and get the key and drag it on top. And here it's perfect. So maybe we're going to use the subscribe so I think that this one is a bit too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it a bit, maybe like this, and maybe put it. In my last tutorial, I showed you how to make the iPhone. So this is what I use usually. I made it myself. So for all the people who bought my customized intros and outros, usually I use this but today I'm not going to use it because it's quite complicated to make and I wanted to make something more simple. Okay, so we're going to cut it here. And so now the one that I'm going to use is this one. So I'm going to select the parts that I want. Here, the Instagram, and I'm going to drag it on top. I'm going to drag the here. And then I'm just going to place everything where I want it to be. And all you have to do is put your name inside the little box so we can still use the tumble. So we're going to drop one and you can put your social media here. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the same one on top, except that I'm going to change the name. So here we have my links. And for this one, what we're going to do is you can change it here, tumble zoom down, tumble zoom up. So I think I'm going to do both tumble zoom up. Okay. Oh, we want to change the photo in the background because it's really still and there's not much happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some effects. So the one that I like to use is the overlay 5K that I got on Pixel Film Studio. You can probably find some overlays on YouTube. Just do your research and try to find some overlays if you don't want to buy anything. There's always things you can find online if you do your research. So I'm going to drag this on top of the image. And here, if you click on the overlay, you have the sample here and you can basically find the sample that you like. So there's a few. So here with the beat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a small part and on this part, I'm going to put an effect. So maybe I'm going to put an earthquake and maybe I'm going to cut another part here and put a bad TV. And yeah, we're gonna wear it for it to render. Now what we're going to do is add another transition to finish the outro. And I'm going to change it to one. And what you can do is add the transition to everything We don't want it in the beginning. We just want it here. So now to take it a step further, we're going to add some sound effects. So I have an account because I produce music. I have an, a, so because I produce music, I have an account with a ton of effects, but you can probably find those on YouTube or anywhere. So the most famous sound effect is probably the whoosh effect that you can hear in a lot of intros from all the YouTubers. So I'm going to drag the sound effect and put it really underneath the transition. We're going to put it in each transition. And then we're just going to add some sound effect around it. So here's the final result. Hope you like this tutorial. Make sure to give this a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe.